Jay, thank you for coming on, man. We appreciate it. Hey, thanks for having me. What's uh, what's life been like the last few days? What are you up to? Pretty quiet, really. Uh, bored out of my mind, really. I've been playing a little bit of golf, uh, hanging out, just trying to get my wits about me and figure out the next move. Jay, you say you're bored. Uh, you know, anytime you talk to coaches <laughs> after they stop playing football, they always have such a hard time figuring out what they're going to do with their time. So I know you're playing a lot of golf, but at some point you can't just play golf every day. Well, yeah, you can. Yeah, I guess maybe you can. <laughs> have you had any thoughts about maybe what you could do next in the next, let's say, month? No, I have not really. I'm uh just taking this all in right now and uh, trying to figure out what that next move will be in the next month or so. I guess got to leave my options open, try to talk to some people and see if there's anything I can do to help uh, in some capacity somewhere doing something. I don't know what that is yet, Diana. I really don't. But right now, I'm enjoying my time off. You know, it's quite the grind. Uh, but as you know, when coaches work as many hours as you do, you take that away. Uh, there's a lot of hours in the day that uh, you just got to figure out what to do with. All right, that's it. So you have some time. Uh, were you able to watch the Redskins on Sunday get their their first win against Miami? What was that like for you? I didn't watch it, actually. I was playing golf. Uh, <laughs> <took> a... <laughs> that a boy. That's what you should be doing, Jay. I mean... <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think that first Sunday is going to be hard, and uh, I decided to go out on the golf course, played at Robert Trent Jones Golf Course. A couple of buddies of mine had a good day, and uh, I was happy for some of the players and a few of the coaches that got the first win. And uh, – Jay, all you hear is how bad the culture is in Washington. That's all you hear about. Obviously, I have no idea. I've never, I've never worked for the team. I haven't been in that environment. But that's what you hear uh, from credible people, that the environment, the culture is really bad in Washington. Just how bad was it for you uh, towards the end there? Well, I think a lot of – we spent a lot of time, you know, trying to get the right culture in there as far as draft and free agency and all that goes. I think we got some good quality players – and good coaches in the house right now, really. Um, I don't think the culture is bad at all, uh, quite frankly. When you go out and draft Jonathan Allen and Ron Payne. No, no, no. I'm not, Jay, Jay, I'm not talking about the culture you created. I'm certain you tried to create a good culture. I'm talking about the culture that, you know, Bruce Allen has created. Yeah, I think – yeah, I, I, you know, I can't say anything negative about the culture or anything right now. You know, I think uh, the most important thing is – when you're the coach and, and you want to put a team together, you have a vision of what that should look like, and sometimes it doesn't match with other people's vision, and that's where problems occur. But, you know, on the flip side of that, when you are a coach and you don't have GM responsibilities and you don't have total say, then you have to uh, do the best you can with what you're given, and I think that's what we try to do as a coaching staff. Uh, we do not always see eye-to-eye -eye on some of the decisions that were made, uh, but at the end of the day, that's the way it is in most buildings quite frankly. So uh, it's our job as coaches to uh, work with what we have, put the pieces together the best way we can and try to find success. And unfortunately, I couldn't get that done in the last uh, year and a half. So much has been made uh, about whether or not the football side of the organization wanted to draft Dwayne Haskins. Uh, there have been reports, those that I've even reported on, that Bruce Allen, Dan Snyder, they were targeting Dwayne Haskins the entire time not open to listening to the suggestions uh, of those that thought that maybe Washington should go in a different direction. Looking back yeah, on it, do you, do you, do you wish that something went different there? Do you wish that more people on the football side spoke up to try to convince the front office that maybe they should have went in a different direction? Well, I think, with Case Keenum coming here with one year and Colt McCoy coming back from a broken leg, we didn't know how long Colt would be out. The fact of the matter is we had to get a quarterback in the draft somewhere sometime. And Dwayne is a great prospect. And uh, and so we chose to take him as an organization. And unfortunately, you know, we you know, people are excited when you take a guy at 15, you want to see him play right away. Uh, but it was our professional opinion that he wasn't quite ready to step in and play in the first five games of the season, in my opinion. So uh, it'll take some time for him. He only played 13 or 14 games as a college player. I think he's very raw, uh, but he's very talented, and it will take some time with him. Um, uh, just wasn't ready when I was there, and maybe he'll get ready in the next coming weeks, but uh, there was a direction we decided to go. There were some other quarterbacks that some people liked in that building later on in the draft, but uh, we chose Wayne and, and uh, tried to make the most of it. And he's still got a chance to be a great player, without a doubt. He's just going to take some time. Jay, here at ESPN, everyone knows your brother, John. Uh, they've 
seen him on campus. They've heard him on the air. Uh, but one of the most common questions I get whenever I share with my colleagues that I covered Washington is they always want to know what you're like. And I never really know how to describe you. I always just say you're different than John. How would you describe yourself compared to your brother? I am a lot different than John. I think that's a good thing because not many people like him. But uh, <laughs> I, I, uh, I'm i more laid back, I guess. Now, John's a great – we're both great competitors, love to win, love football, without a doubt, have a great passion for the game, uh, trying to win every time we step on the field. Uh, that we're very much alike. We just have different approaches. He's a lot more uh, on the edge of his seat, very uh, hyper, so to speak. I'm more of a laid back kind of guy, um, more of a people person probably. Uh, but, you know, I, I, shoot, John gets along with everybody as well, I think. But I don't know. We're just a little bit different. No two people are alike, Diana. No people, <laughs> two people are alike. Everyone, thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports, more analysis, download the ESPN app. And for live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus. We'll see you there.